What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin. Just a heads up, there will be no stream this week. I will not be here. I'm going on vacation. But just because I am on vacation does not mean Red Sox news stops. And today, hopefully, we are getting back two key pieces that have been on the IL for a while to this Red Sox team. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about who those players are, when we can expect them back, and what this means for the Red Sox, because it does have a huge impact on this Red Sox team. But before we get into that, that, do me a favor make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you're new here we talk red sox content almost every single day also make sure you guys have hit the like button on this video helps out a ton and would mean a lot to me thank you all very much for clicking on this one let's get into it the first guy slated to return actually today is Kike Hernandez. Kike has been out for a really long time. He went down on the IL with a hip flexor injury after the West Coast road trip where Michael Waka pitched a complete game against the Angels. I know it feels like an entirely different season that that happened in, but that's how long Kike Hernandez has been out. He's actually been close to coming back before. He had a stint a couple of weeks ago in Worcester, but ended up kind of feeling that soreness in his hip again and had to go see some specialists and get some shots. But this time around, it seems a little bit different. He's playing more consistently on the field down in minor leagues. And he actually went two for four the other day in his latest appearance with two doubles. So it looks like Kike Hernandez is back and going to return. I'd, nothing has been officially announced at the time of this recording. But my assumption is that on Tuesday against the Pirates, Kike Hernandez gets reinstated. And what does this mean for the Red Sox? Well, first of all, they have to get rid of somebody. And in my opinion, that person's going to be Yomer Sanchez. As much as I like Yomer Sanchez as a person, Person. I think he's a great guy. He really hasn't been doing a whole lot to benefit this Red Sox team. He has not played since Christian Arroyo came back. And when he did play, he wasn't exactly great defensively. He made some decent plays, but he also made some not decent plays. And at the plate, he was kind of abysmal. He was hitting under 100. He was really adding nothing to this Red Sox team. So that combined with the fact that he has not played in a single game since Christian Arroyo came back, pretty much leads me to believe that Yomer Sanchez will be the one that gets the DFA. Again, good guy, but not really happy having an impact on the Red Sox. So this move to me makes the most sense. But just because we get rid of Yomer Sanchez and it doesn't really impact the Red Sox doesn't mean that Kike Hernandez won't impact the Red Sox because he probably will, at least definitely defensively. We've had our issues in center field this year. Jaron Durant, still young, still getting used to that position, has had some real growing pains and it's cost us a couple of games. Now, Kike Hernandez, on the other hand, is a gold glove center fielder caliber player and he's a fantastic outfielder. So getting him back defensively will be huge for this team who just came off of a two series wins in a row. As for his offense, I'm not entirely sure what to expect. Kike Hernandez, like most people on this team, was really cold to begin the year, but started to heat up right around that West Coast road trip. So in my opinion, I think he'll be okay when he comes back. I'm hoping that he's taking notes from Christian Arroyo and his return and being like, hey, I can do that too. I can hit like that when I get off the IL because that would be absolutely fantastic. But at the end of the day, I don't really know what to expect. We could either get ice cold Kike for a couple weeks before he kind of gets his timing back and his swing mechanics back or we could get on fire let's go i'm helping the team kike either way having kike hernandez in that center field position is going to be a ton of fun i also don't think he will be the leadoff man at any point this season i think tommy fam has officially secured that with his performance in the leadoff spot so probably expect kike to be in that bottom half of the lineup at least until he can figure out his swing the second guy that should be making his return within the next couple of days if not today on tuesday the day that you are watching this is rob ref Snyder. He was on the 10 day IL with a knee injury. So we haven't seen him in a little bit. And this has kind of been an injury that's flown under the radar, mostly because a lot of our bigger stars were injured within that time. Chris Sale, Trevor Story news about him getting backed up. Rob Ref Snyder kind of flew under the radar, but at the same time too, he's going to be an integral piece to come back to this team because before he went on to the IL, he was this team's spark plug. He had some extremely clutch hits in Toronto and he had some extremely clutch hits even throughout all of his appearances. He was hitting over 300 at 3 nine with four home runs in his time with the Red Sox. So getting him back could be huge. And not only just because he adds a good bat to this lineup, but because he adds depth to this bench. It's something that we've been lacking with all of the injuries so far this year. We've had to call up guys who really aren't great at the plague, just guys who can fill holes and be a body on the field if need be. But getting Ref Snyder back and Kike at the same time means our bench is looking like Ref Snyder, Duran, Bob, and Reese McGuire, and eventually Arroyo as well. And that seems like a really deep 
an integral bench and could be a really great bench going forward into the later stretches of this year. I could also see Rob Refsnyder kind of take over the fourth outfielder role and kind of be that guy who plays when guys need days off, a defensive substitution, because he was great defensively for us too. A lot of people remember his bat, but his defense was fantastic as well. I could also see Alex Cora kind of splitting that fourth outfield role with Duran and Ref Snyder. Alex Cora is a guy who likes to combine the gut feeling that managers have with the analytics. So using Duran and Ref Snyder as that fourth outfielder could be good for both of those. You can use them in different situations against different pitchers. So in my mind, getting Rob Ref Snyder back is not only a spark to this team, but it is also a depth addition that we have been sorely missing. They say time heals all wounds and hopefully the Red Sox are getting healed at the perfect time. It seems as though the Red Sox are starting to get on a little bit of a roll here. You beat the Orioles in a one game series. You beat the big, bad New York Yankees who are just absolutely crumbling at the seams, which is fantastic, by the way. At home at Fenway Park, you're going into a Pittsburgh Pirates series and you're going into a Baltimore Orioles series. Let's see something crazy. And these injuries, these people coming back and breathing kind of some new life into this team could be exactly what they need. It could be the key to getting this team back to where we want them to be and have a little bit of a Soxtober. Who says we can't? Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of all of this? All this injury news, guys who are getting DFA, guys who are getting released and guys who are coming back. Are you excited? Are you nervous? What are your thoughts on these two down below? As always, if you've made it to the end of this video, do me a favor. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, we talk Red Sox content almost every single day. Like I said at the beginning, plus you made it to the end of this video, you might as well hit the subscribe button. You also might as well hit the like button as well. Helps these videos out a ton and would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one and I will see you in the red seat.